what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again nice to see you and finally once again another video on subscriptions <laughs> so finally it's 6000 subscribers in this channel my god that day it was 5000 today 6000 <laughs> so once again i would like to thank all of the new subscribers who have come recently and also to the old ones for sticking and staying and tolerating me <laughs> i'm amazed to see so many people they are saying that oh your videos are benefiting us you, we, our lives are getting transformed in fact so many people have told me that oh i have uh, left eating meat i have left watching pornography i have left smoking cigarettes i have left some of my friends i have left some of my relatives <laughs> And I've started reading the scriptures. I have started reading the scriptures like the Bhagavad Gita. And I have started visiting holy people in the weekends. And I have made so many changes in my life. I'm making a note of what I'm eating and what I'm not eating, what I'm seeing. As I always keep saying, garbage in, garbage out principles. So I was amazed. I never thought that so many people will take my word seriously. Yes, why not? Because these are the words of the scriptures. Whatever I speak, whatever I've heard from my guru so here i would like to address one question which was asked to me the other day uh, there was a person who had asked me that oh why are there so many rules restrictions regulations do's don'ts in the scriptures yes either it's the gita the bible the quran or whichever scripture it is there are so many rules regulations and sometimes we feel choked yes i also feel sometimes <laughs> oh you can do this you can't do that see Always understand when scriptures, the great sages, the rishis, munis, yogis and God, supreme personality of God, Lord Vishnu himself is saying something in the scriptures. It is for our benefit. The scriptures will not gain anything if we follow them or if we don't follow them. But it is we who will gain from them. So just like a small child, yes, if the child is very naughty, the mother has to discipline the child if the child is not studying then the mother has to show the stick sometimes <laughs> and the father also has to catch his ear sometimes yes because if he is not studying then he will suffer later on yes he will not complete his education he will not get a good job and then maybe he doesn't get married or whatever it is yes or even if it's true even if uh, it's a girl child so the thing is whenever we see that there are regulations and there are rules restrictions and do's and don'ts we should not get discouraged the other day somebody said to me that oh there's some uh, rule that you should do this much but i'm not able to do that much so what should i do should i stop it or should i go away from the scriptures no never do that if suppose there is a rule that you must be doing this much yes fasting suppose for example you should completely fast but sometimes we may not be able to do that but that doesn't mean we get discouraged all these standards all the limitations all the jurisdictions of the scriptures are there to inspire us to make us a better human being to uplift our consciousness and the ultimate aim of all the scriptures what is that <laughs> yes we all know that it's that we go closer to god ultimately because Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Suridam Sarabhutanam Gyatva Mam Shantim Ruchati. I am the most well wishing friend of all living beings. So, and in the Gita also it is said that Antakale Chamame Vas Maran Muktua Kale Varam. It means that whatever state of being you remember at the time of your death, that state you shall attain without fail. And to remember God at the end of our life, we have to ensure that we leave we lead a god conscious life throughout our uh, we, we we be very god conscious throughout our journey yes it cannot happen that uh, we are only god conscious at the time of death it will not happen if we are too much attached to our spouse then we will be thinking of our spouse at the end of our life if we are attached to our friend yes or to our son or to our daughter <laughs> then it's very likely that at the end of our life also we will be thinking of them only so the scriptures have a detailed plan by which from the starting till the end of the day 
we can be god conscious therefore it has so many rules regulations restrictions and do's and don'ts which facilitate our inner uh, growth in our spiritual journey and by that we can attain unlimited bliss <laughs> as the shiva bhagavatam says the nature of the soul is sat chit ananda full of eternity knowledge and bliss and god is the only ultimate form of satchidananda yes we are also satchidananda but we are tiny satchidanandas <laughs> which means that we are tiny the living entities is very tiny the spirit soul is very tiny spark of god's splendor and whatever attractive things we see in this world is nothing but a reflection of god's splendor as lord krishna says in the gita yad yad vibhuti mat sattvam shrimad urjitam eva van tatta deva va gachatvam mama teja amsha sambhavam mama teja amsha a spark of my splendor is being revealed in this material world so we see a very beautiful girl we think oh she is very beautiful no actually she is not beautiful the element of god's beauty a tiny spark of that is manifesting through her body that is why she is looking very beautiful <laughs> all right so somebody is very intelligent but god is supremely intelligent so his many his uh, tiny his unlimited intelligence manifests in a tiny living entity who is entrapped in this body and then that person looks to be very intelligent for some time for 40 years 50 years yes and then after some time it all dispatches yes and that's it life ends so that is it from my side thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and there are so many requests which i have got for making uh, videos on different topics so my kind request is please hold on it is there in the list all the videos will be coming but i have my own limitations i have my studies i have my work and so many other things i have to do so i cannot be making 10 videos every day <laughs> I have to maintain myself also. I have to maintain this home also. So and now I am doing shifting of my home also. So that will also I will be very busy for the next ten days. So uh, I I will maybe not uh, upload very heavy videos. Some mild videos I will be uploading for the next ten days. And Vishti Larson's series is continuing on Venus. I have uploaded I think three videos. So the remaining three videos I will be uploading in the successive Fridays. So this Friday the fourth. next friday fifth and the next friday will be the sixth video so please watch that if you have not watched all the three and the remaining three also and also i have recorded a session with nicole brenny on cards of truth where we have discussed how that affects uh, how how to see using the cards of truth which uh, was originally developed by the great astrologer ernst wilhelm as we all know and we have used uh, ken rouser's uh, chart yes the great ken rouser <laughs> who don't know, who doesn't know him after all so we have used uh, his life and as an example and some other uh, aspects also to demonstrate how the cards of truth is working and i have also recorded one session with uh, vic dikara on relationship compatibility that also i will be uploading but uh, it will come slowly not everything at a time all right so that is it from my side thank you very much for subscribing and if you are new and you have <laughs> not subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and that is all god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will definitely find him okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you Thank you.